So there's an argument. He didn't speak to me until we, we, we had two flights. I cried probably three quarters of both of them. Oh, I um, I said next to get home. And then there was, uh, there were some of the boys, Barry Wyndham was one of them that loved to just go dust and like just <laughs> mess with him. Cause he was so young back then. Anything they told him, he believed and he went off on. So I remember the, the, the last time I was willing to put up with that was he came home from a TV that I, I was not at. I'm sorry, not a TV, a house show. He came home, my home, and he goes, <laughs> Why didn't you tell me you were Jake the St. Roberts? And I literally, I looked at him and I said, Dustin, I've never even met Jake the Snake. I've never looked upon his flesh. I've never sh shook his hand, said hello, kissed my foot, nothing. So you have a choice to make. You know exactly what I've told you, where I've been, what I've done. Um, you can either choose to be with me or, or go, but I cannot keep playing these silly high school games so I just said, make a choice. I'm cool either way. You go, you stay, whatever. Just, I can't do this anymore. Um, so, I, you know, he, God love him. You know, he was like, no, I believe you. No. But he, he was just plagued with so much because of his dad and the boys. And like now he's, he's you know, all that kind of stuff doesn't bother him, but back then, God love him, it was horrible. Yes, because it's being, and I don't want to speak maturity. negatively about him. It's not him. speaking, it's telling a life story. You're but not, yeah, I mean, that's just kind of I think of every guy is the same way. What I always tell people, especially wrestlers, I will tell them, don't ever worry about who they slept with before. Worry about who they're sleeping with while you're with them, or guess what? If you're the last person that you're, they're sleeping with, then that's cool. Right. So yeah, that stuff never, I probably did bother me. I was an old school Guido, but that's men's insecurity. But, but at a certain point, I just got sick of it. But like, women are like that too. I can't, I can't keep doing this. Women are like that too. Like what? Well, you were with this girl, you were with that girl. No, I mean, I was, I was mature enough to say, I mean, I, my God, I, I would assume that most people at that age have been with someone. I'm not going to go and, and make you say exactly who you've been with and what you've done. But yeah, it, it, at, at a certain point, when I was so committed to him, I was like, I can't do this anymore. You gotta choose. So now you, leave, you left WCW because of that? Nope. Well, that was my question. So the answer to that question is, um, the whole thing was, I knew that all of a sudden, Dusty went from being kind and cordial to me to being very antiseptic and cold to me and we were at center stage and I remember he said something um, that was just I don't even remember what he said but it was just rude and wrong and I just said I'm done I literally kindly calmly packed my bags drove out of center stage and and left I have no idea what my last Alexandra York match was to this day. I have no idea. I have no, I'm sure they didn't say a word about it. They didn't say anything like, you know, where'd she go? I think they just, you know, out of sight, out of mind. There's no internet either, so there's no. But yeah, I have no idea what the last thing was that I did, but yeah, I walked out that night and didn't come back. And Dustin stayed? Dustin stayed. Okay. Wisely enough, Dustin stayed. <clears throat>